What's up guys and welcome to another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I guess an update. I guess it's an update. The Mega Evolution Scoop has started guys. We were promised in the last episode of well, the last edition of the Koro Koro Magazine that this uh, this month the Koro Koro will be featuring a Mega Evolution Scoop. So basically loads of Mega Evolutions being revealed. Um, and we've started to get some. We have three first off now and we're bound to get more. I mean I'll, I'll talk more about that later on. But... Let's just head straight onto the Megas and start looking at them. So, first up we have Mega Altaria. Yes, Mega Altaria is a thing. I really was excited about Mega Altaria, and it has happened. It is a Dragon Fairy type, and has the ability Pixelate, which is going to be very powerful. I'm actually going to make individual videos, probably one on Mega Altaria, one on the other Megas as well, um, you know, over the coming days and weeks and whatnot, just to sort of, you know, look at them in, in particular, look at their usage, moves, stuff like that, um, just analysing them, but for now, it's just looking at the basics. So we have Mega Altaria, Dragon Fairy type, which is what everyone really wanted, or a lot of people wanted. So it's gone from normal flying to dragon flying to dragon fairy. Well done, Altaria. You like uh, changing your type, don't you? Anyway, uh, it's also got a pixelate, which means it's going to be very powerful indeed, because obviously it powers up, well, changes normal type moves into fairy type moves and powers them up slightly, which means it's going to have some nice, very strong stabs there, very similar to Mega Gardevoir as well. And obviously, um, it's gonna be immune to dragon, which is which is pretty cool. It's a dragon type that's immune to dragon type moves, which is awesome. It's gonna be able to yeah, pixelate at the here. Yeah. As I said, I'll talk more about that in its own video, talking about moves that might benefit or moves that will benefit from pixelate and stuff like that, how they may be used, also stat change, you know, sort of predictions and whatnot for Mega Altaria. Then uh, well Looking here, we have, you know, this is some fa fan art on the left, we can see from Mega Altera I just picked up, and on the right we have this screenshot from in-game. Um, in-game it looks like it's more pink than it is in the actual art, I can't really tell, obviously it's Coral Coral Scan, so it's not really, um, it's not brilliant quality, but it does look slightly pinker in the game. It's not very, um, you can't really see much in the shot at all, it's just basically a shot of it's in-game, sort of in battle, just sort of looking at the camera. It looks like it's going to be uh, sat down. Or you know, stood on the ground rather than flying, but can't quite tell yet. Maybe it goes up and down. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, so that's Mega Altaria, our first Mega. The second Mega that was revealed alongside Altaria was or is Mega Lopunny. Mega Lopunny is now a thing. I don't think many people saw this coming, and you know, not a huge amount of people did at least. Um, as you can see there, Mega Lopunny. Its design has changed a fair amount. Um, it's now got some sort of black colouring on its legs, or sort of black legs with some brown colouring. Um, its ears have gotten longer, I think. Um, I don't know exactly, can't remember exactly what Lopunny looks like, but it has changed a bit. And it's now a normal fighting type, um, which is interesting, you know, obviously it's going to be weak to fighting type, it's going to be weak to flying type, it's going to be immune to ghost, it's going to be weak to psychic, stuff like that. So it's, you know, it's a very interesting type there. And its ability is going to be scrappy, which allow it to hit ghost types with normal and fighting type moves, which is very good. So basically, both its stabs can hit, which is so scrappy is a brilliant ability for Mega Lopunny to have, and it's going to make it very, very useful. Obviously, in the in-game shots on the left there, you can see Lopunny actually attacking Sableye. I'm pretty sure that's with high jump kick, so obviously it's going to be very powerful. And then the other in-game shot is pretty much just Mega Lopunny just sort of stood around in battle, not doing much. But that is Mega Lopunny there. Normal fighting type, which is going to be interesting. As I said, make another video on Mega Lopunny, looking at possible stat, you know, stat predictions, stuff like that. And yeah, just everything like that, guys. But that's Mega Lopunny. There's not a huge amount to say there. Um, not as much as there was to say about Mega um, Altaria, because Mega Lopunny is not as quite, not quite as interesting. It's, it's, inter it's, uh, it's interesting. It's not quite as interesting as Mega Altaria, though. So let's move on to the third Mega Evolution we have revealed, which is. Mega Salamence, yes. Mega Salamence, you can see here, design-wise, it's now a glider, pretty much. It seems to have lost its arms completely, or at least they're very, very small and just tucked into its body. Um, and it's got its, its two wings have now got even larger and even more well, flat. Uh, and it's basically just got one big wing uh, stretching around its back. And sort of, you know, so it looks like its tail is joined to it, but I can't quite be sure. Uh, Head-wise, it's pretty much got the same head, but the head is slightly more elongated than it was originally, so you can see it's more streamlined. And its body has also gained some sort of, I guess, I, I, well, I think they're in the original design, but, you know, they've got some iron-like body armour, I guess, for Salamence there. Whereas it's, you know, back legs as well, sort of just stayed as they are. 
in-game shots on the left-hand side there, you can see Mega Salamence is using Giga Impact, I'm pretty sure that is. Because um, that links into Mega Salamence's ability, which is Aerial Aid, which turns normal type moves into flying type moves. And Mega Salamence does indeed stay a dragon flying type. So, obviously, well, I guess it would have to stay a flying type if we look at the damn wing. Um, but that's going to make it very powerful indeed, allowing it to transform normal type moves into flying type moves, giving them a boost as well, I'm pretty sure, and also getting stabbed from them, so that's going to be very powerful indeed. Um, as I said, again, third time round, I will be making another video on Mega Salamence looking at you know, stat spreads, stat predictions, and then looking at the moves that could make it very, very useful in competitive. But that's the last Mega Evolution we've had revealed such far, but there is bound to be at least... Well, I, I would, I, I might put my neck on the line here and say there is definitely going to be at least one more Mega Evolution revealed. Why am I so confident? Well, look at this, okay? So if we start off by looking at what we've seen already, we have the scan there of Mega World Terrier, then we have the scan of Mega Salamence, and beneath that the scan of Mega Lopunny. Now guys, if you notice, uh, there is a sort of... A, pa well, a pattern, I guess. You can, obviously, Low Punny is definitely below Salamence, but you can see some text in Altarias that sort of it's curving round, and then in, in Salamence and Low Punny, it's curving the other way. Um, so, as you can see, the way I've sort of put those scans there, it's in a rough form, um, but you can see there's obviously a central circle there, text going round it, and then the Mega Evolution in each corner. But there is one missing, there is no Mega Evolution in the bottom left. Um, so I shall show you, you know, I've just got a bit more of a, an obvious design here, so you can see, say this is the two pages of the Coral Coral Magazine. In the center we have the circle, and that is where, uh, as you saw in the Lopunny and the Salamence sca uh, scan, there is a bag on in the middle for Salamence, and there's a Lopunny and Baneri in there for Lopunny. Which makes sense, so it's the base evolution, so we can only assume when Alteria is on there, we also have uh, Swablu there, so I have Alteria and Swab Swablu in the center, then we have Bagon and Salamence at the top right, Buneri and then Lopunny at the bottom right. But there is one space left, so we can assume that it's not going to be a. Uh, it's, we can assume it's not going to be people like Sableye because it has to have a pre evolution, otherwise, there's going to be a space in the center, if you guys get what I mean there. Um, so maybe there will be another Pokemon, or there will definitely be another Pokemon, in my opinion. So, what pre evolution could it be? What mega evolution could it be? Now, um. We haven't really got any other clues apart from this. Alteria, obviously Swablu goes to Alteria, and Alteria evolves into Mega Alteria. Um, and it sort of links the same, Buneri goes to Lopunny, and then Lopunny Mega evolves. Whereas Bagon goes to Shellgon, and then goes to Salamence. So we have a two line in the top left, a two line in the bottom right, and then a three line in the top right. Obviously it might just be how Game Freak are setting it out, they're not really thinking about, you know, how it works, if you guys get what I mean. They're not thinking, oh yeah, let's put two there, two there, three there, sort of thing. But it's a possibility it might be. And obviously, as you can see here, guys, it's very interesting with Lopunny as well. Lopunny is a Generation 4 Pokemon. She is from the Sinnoh region, okay? She's not home. She's not home. So, there goes all the people that say, Oh, why are you, why are you looking at Mega Evolutions that are not from home? They're obviously going to be from home. No, they're not all going to be from home because we have Mega Lopunny. So, there's a big possibility that this other Mega Evolution may also be a Sinnoh Pokemon or maybe something else. I mean, we can assume it's going to be Sinnoh, to be honest. I don't think they would go for a Nova quite yet. They would just go for Sinnoh here, in my opinion. So we might be looking at another Sinnoh Pokemon that's going to get a Mega Evolution. Uh, obviously it makes sense because we've got the home Pokemon at the top, Sinnoh Pokemon at the bottom. But we have no idea what this last Mega Evolution is. You know, all we can do is speculate what it's going to be. I would think it's a possibility it's going to be a Sinnoh Pokemon in my opinion. Uh, and possibly a free stage evolution line. So I'm going to put it out there. Luxray possibly. Mega Luxray. That's a possibility I'm throwing out there. We really have no other sort of clues or idea because... Um, you know, Altaria's scan does not show any of the bottom, we can't see the bottom left at all. The scan has not leaked this last Mega Evolution, we don't know what it is at all, unfortunately. So, why have they not leaked it? Why have they not le leaked this last one? Why? Just why, guys? Why? I, don't, I want to know why haven't they haven't leaked it yet. Maybe they just want to be a twat. Um, maybe it's the fact that I, 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 I wouldn't know, guys. I would not know why they wouldn't want to leak it or would, wouldn't have leaked it. Maybe they're just leaving it for a bit later on. Who knows? But I'm sure we'll find out within the next day or two. Um, so stay tuned to the channel for that. So I'll cover that final Mega Evolution when it comes out. There might even be another page of Mega Evolutions. I would not expect it, though, because we've already got some other pages. I need to look at another videos. We've got some stuff about Pikachus, some stuff about Metagross contests, etc. So I don't think there's going to be a second page of Mega Evolution. I think it's just going to be the single page here. 
but with this last Mega Evolution on. But guys, let me know what you think down below in the comment section of Mega Altaria with the Dragon Fairy typing in Pixelate, Mega Lopunny with a normal fighting type, and of course Scrappy, and then Mega Salamence with that weird design, and um, its aerial ability with its basic typing. And also let me know what you think this last mystery Mega Evolution is going to be. Do you think it's going to be a Pokemon we expect? A Hone Pokemon, Sinnoh Pokemon, maybe even Unova Pokemon? Random, something like that, you know? Let me know guys what you think in the comment section down below. I'm interested to see what you guys think of the last Mega Evolution. See if anyone can actually guess right when we find out soon. But, I'll be seeing you next time. Thank you for watching. Drop a like in the comment if you enjoyed the video. I'll be seeing you next time. I said that already. <laughs> Goodbye, my friends.